Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Cherise Gibson. And we are here for a special edition of Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock inside of the brand spanking new MSY. But we should have showed up a little bit earlier. Chopper style, we missed that. We I missed know. some brass bands. How did we miss that? I know. I showed up. I wanted some music. And we heard a little bit uh, earlier uh, earlier today. But you're going to get to check out that later. Right. And that's all happening really behind security. That's one of the things that we're going to talk about as we get you familiar with this brand new airport that is brand new to all of us. Yeah, and there are some new features, including this new airport. Of course, there's some free Wi-Fi, which I can say and attest to you that it is moving pretty fast, and device charging stations at half of the gate areas, and there's also a pet relief area and a water bottle refilling station. So, so far, so good. We're loving it. That's big. Yeah. I, I've had people complain about that who are my friends who said, I can't fill up my water bottle anywhere at the old airport. Hey, you don't have that problem anymore. Now you can. It's going to be great. <laughs> all right. Now, like we said, there are many any first that are happening today here at the new MSY as everyone tries to, of course, navigate this new airport. Yeah, it is a lot, a lot yeah. for sure. And uh, we are, you know, talking to this on all of the angles. We yeah. want to get it all covered for you so that you know what you're doing whenever you come to the airport. And our Danny Monteverdi is live here at the airport with us tonight with more on everything that's happening today. Danny. Well, Katie, everything is happening today. So far as we can tell, as it should, if you see behind me right now, this is the TSA pre-check line. It is a gigantic uh, checkpoint here. Unlike the old airport, there's just one place you go in, not several. But so far, as we've heard today, and as we've said today, as we've seen today, I'm sorry, things are going according to plan. It was November of 1959 when city leaders cut the ribbon on the old Moisant International Airport. The mayor's office said the terminal would give New Orleans one of the newest and finest facilities of its kind in the nation. 60 years later, that welcome mat had become a little worn. But just across the runway from the old terminal, the new MSY was open for business Wednesday. We definitely celebrate the past, but we want to celebrate the future too. We met Aaron Age on Monday while he was still working at Dookie Chase's in the old terminal. He was excited to get into his new kitchen at Leah's Kitchen and in awe of the new billion dollar terminal. The size of this place, the size of it is amazing. And all of all the friendly people, there's no place like New Orleans. There were a lot of questions about if the new terminal could open without any problems. Lines at ticket counters on the third floor weren't long, but one couple had trouble finding their airline. Possibly when their ticket counter opens up, that it should be like these LED screens will change and say Alaska Airlines on it. You're hoping that at least. We're hoping. Lines at the giant TSA checkpoint on the second floor seem to move well. Lieutenant General Russell Honore, who saw New Orleans at its worst during Hurricane Katrina, was glad to see this change. I love it. I fly out of here at least once a week. So this is a great improvement, and it's representative of what a city uh, and the people of Louisiana deserve, a uh, modern, uh, safe airport. So it's been good so far today? It's been great. It's a complete night and day difference. It's just, this represents New Orleans. You can feel the hospitality as you're walking around, and uh, it makes me proud to be a New Orleanian. And so we do have some good news for that couple from Alaska who is trying to get to their ticket counter. They did find it, and they are on their way back home now. That's the latest from here on the second floor at the TSA checkpoint. Back to you guys upstairs. There certainly is a lot to see, do, drink, and even eat here at the new airport. And I want to give you a little tour of the lower level. We're on the ground floor where people are going to get in their cars and go off to other places in the city after their planes arrive here in New Orleans. Take a look around. Over there, you'll find a stage where they're going to have regular performers. Sometimes we've seen that at the old airport, but it is a nice featured stage in the center of all the action here at this new terminal. Now, now, of course, we've been hearing a lot about the food, the drinks, things that you can get at the airport. It's a little different at the new one. Unfortunately, most of that is going to be past security. But there is this one kiosk, Parish Provisions, where you can, of course, get your Saints gear if you need it. You can get some chips for your flight. And then one thing that's unique, I think, for this airport is that this little kiosk, Parish Provisions, if you come with me, they're going to eventually be able to give you some drinks. There's a whole section back there that's ready for wine, beer, spirits, things that you need to buy to make drinks as you're coming to New Orleans because, of course, as we know, that is one of the things that the city's known for. So many things to see and do, eat and drink here at the new terminal. Most of those, unfortunately, pass security, but there's a little bit here and there on this side of things. 
All right, Katie, thanks so much. You're looking live right now at a picture right now of traffic on I-10 at Loyola, which is the new exit everyone has to take to get to the new airport terminal right there on your left. Now, this is what it looks like during rush hour with the Loyola exit lanes on the far left. That lane was backed up at times earlier today, but I will tell you, it is looking good right now. Still running pretty smooth. Now, you have to take that exit to get to the new terminal over here at MSY, but of course, traveling here, there's still some challenges. People are still trying to figure out exactly how to get here and what's the best route to take and for that we go over to Paul Murphy. Sharice, as we all know, getting there is always half the battle and that is certainly the case here at the new terminal. Besides a new location on the north side of the runway, north side of the airport, there's also a new access road, airport access road and a new building to get used to. Traffic backed up on I-10 this morning as drivers approached Loyola Drive in Kenner. Kenner police investigated five accidents that they believe were attributed to the traffic and careless drivers at the Loyola Drive I-10 interchange. You can no longer get to the airport using the old access road off the interstate. Now with only one way in and one way out off of Loyola, there was a five to six minute wait just to get off the highway. It took most people two light cycles to make it across Veterans and on to the new airport road. Travelers told us today's backups were manageable, but they and Kenner Mayor Ben Zond wonder what it will be like during the upcoming peak travel days during Thanksgiving and the holidays. A little bit more than the normal for 11 o'clock, but we'll see how it's going to be the rush hour. So hopefully it will be okay. We knew some type of traffic congestion was coming. Hopefully this is just because it's the first day. Maybe that'll get worked out in a, in a short period of time. Maybe it won't. And today there also be, appeared to be a problem with the booths where you go to pay for the parking here. There was a long line of vehicles waiting to exit through the one booth that appeared to be working today. And new at six, more on the parking options here. And we also get travelers' first impressions on what it was like getting to the new airport. We're live at the new MSY, the Louis Armstrong New Orleans Airport. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Well, one of the things that you always notice about the old MSY is when you went to the different concourses, they all had their own TSA lines. Of course, for Delta Airlines, to United Airlines, there were several airlines uh, like Southwest that had its own TSA line, and of course, the Spirit Airlines and uh, places like that on the on the inside. Now. This is what I love most about the new MSY. The TSA lines are amazing. I mean, take a look at this. It's spread out. What they did was bring over some of the TSA equipment that came from the old MSY, but they added them tenfold. I mean, take a look at this. From what we're told from folks here, you can hold up to 14 T TSA lines are available to use. Now, the thing is, while we have some of these TSA lines that are working, there are, is some progress that's still being made here at the airport. Over here, there looks like uh, it's probably one, two, or three different TSA lines that are still under construction. They're still unboxing some things. And of course, that's going to be perfect for this airport. Right now, it's a Wednesday. It's not very busy right now. So you have TSA lines moving pretty quickly. But the big test, of course, is going to be on the Fridays and the Saturdays. And when people fly back in on Sundays, that's when we have to see how TSA is going to work out over here. But so far, things are flowing smoothly. More space, more spaced out, and more workers that are lined up here over at TSA inside of the new MSY. So, so far, I'm loving it.